Hi guys, it's Joe back with another video. Today I want to show you how I organize and store my Copic markers. This is actually my Copic bag slash crop tool bag that I take with me when I go to crops. Uh, this is my Copic collection. It's not very vast. The, uh, this is pretty much my collection. I don't think I'm going to add any more colors to it. I get the colors that I need just from all these markers so I think I'm good but anyways so this bag here it's from recollections it's several several years old uh, got it from Michaels I've seen other videos uh, who with people who use this as a Copic bag and it works out really great for Copics so again this is my collection I only use half of it for my coping markers and the rest are my crop tools. So this side is Copic markers. This section right here, I'm going to show you. These three little markers here, this this is my go-to co color combo for when I color uh, images for skin. So the colors are BV00, E11, and E00. This is what I use and I really like the combo so I just keep it separate so it's more accessible to me when I color. This little spot right here just has some glossy accents and some chapstick. This little middle section here has some glue sticks and a little post-it note notepad that holds some uh, notes of certain colors or refills that I need to get so that just goes in here this section right here has a gold pen and my favorite white gel pen which is the uniball signo broad white gel pen gel pen ink this is the wink of stella clear pen which adds a little sparkle to your images I have a little stick pen right here and then two little uh, bottles of the Nouveau Crystal Drops in white and black to add dimension to my images. On the side pocket, this little insert right here, I keep my Mini Misty. This is what I use when I stamp all the images. And these pockets hold my stickles that I pretty much grab all the time to add some accents to my images so that's that side the back part right here this little zippered pocket holds my adhesive this just some scrapbook tape liquid glue some ad foam adhesive tape and uh, ATG refills it fits nicely here uh, one more side this section right here I have some liquid applique which is a liquid that you apply to your images you add um, you use your heat gun to add some heat and it puffs up and I also have a little to uh, handbag to a uh, handbag hook that I use for the tote in case I don't want to keep this bag on my work surface have some pens here and then I have a little stylus pen um, this is really neat it has a, a setting for a little pin and then different stylus size like really small and then your medium and then they have a large really great for scoring and also the pins great for um, taking out the little pieces in your die cuts Okay. The back side of the tote bag are my Copic refills. I don't have that many, not for every marker that I have, just the ones that I always use. My ATG gun, more refills. I have a refill of the colorless blender bottle there. And then this is where I keep my ink pads, which is basically a white pigment ink, a Memento Tuxedo Black, and Memento Rich Cocoa. And then a refill for the black, just in case it dries out so this fits nicely in there and then in the middle section right here I have my Copic paper 
I use the Nina Solar White Classics. What is this? Hold on. The Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. But this right here, I use this for my card bases and I also use it as my Copic paper. This is the Recollections 110 pound. Uh, you get a whole ream for like $12 at Michael's, but then you can use a coupon. So it's way cheaper and also it, you could use it as your card base. And I really like how the Copics work with this paper. I have my Copic hex chart. These are basically, these are all the colors I have. And then I also have um, one that's already completed in case I... I'm thinking about getting another color or what have you so I have that there my Martha Stewart mini scoreboard for traveling this is a little pebbles ink chalk container I only basically use the pinks for my the blush on the faces when I color um, images so I kind of want to just take it out so I put it in a smaller container so I don't have to carry this whole big one this is a little container of all my images that I've colored or I need to color and then I just keep my scissors in there so these are just my colored images that I have in here in case I need one real quick but it fits nicely in here and keeps everything contained and it doesn't get ruined so if I'm working on an image I just place it in there so yeah that's this middle section really nice and neat and on the bottom of this tote bag, there's another pocket right here. Is it stuck? Okay, there it is. So basically, I have the um, mini, the grid pad for the mini mist, the misty, right here. And then I also have some masking paper for uh, stamping. And then if I want to carry anything else, I can still stick some stuff in there. But yeah, this is my Copic storage solution and also serves as my crop tool bag when I go to crops. So I just keep this next to my desk and it's really, it's a little bit heavy, but it holds everything I need for when I crop and I need to color images. I have an older video of showing what's in my crop bag. I think that's what it's called. But if you watch that video, I'll have a link to it. It's ridiculous. Just all the things that I carry in that bag when I first started scrapbooking. It's, I think I even mentioned it in the video that it's pretty much like a clown car because the stuff I was pulling out of it was just insane. Like I had like books to use the the paper in it and oh just you really need to watch it because it's like what was I thinking when I filled that up and it was and the image was image quality of that video it was I filmed in the dark it was just like a little spotlight on my little desk it's, it's pretty funny but anyways I hope you like this video and my rambling also I'll link some several other videos uh, Sybil has a tote similar to this that she carries her Copic markers in and as well as Tracy's treasures she also uses this um, tote to hold her Copic markers now mind you their videos are several years old so they might not be using that tote bag anymore but I'll still link the uh, their videos in the description box below so that is my video on how i store my copic markers i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye